Thank you everyone. I know today is a hard day. And I know at times like this, it can be tough. But I need for you to try to help me do something for a few minutes. Because even at times like this, our God is worthy of a praise. And so if you can find it in your heart, if you can find it in your spirit, I need for you to help me give God some praise in this house. Oh, I need you to help me praise him because he's worthy. He's praise. It's because of him we're able to celebrate today. It's because of him we're able to remember today. It's all because of him so we still in the midst of times like these have to give God his praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come to celebrate Brother Junior today. And if I got to celebrate him by myself, I'm going to celebrate him by myself. I came. I said I came. I came to celebrate Brother Junior today. At this time, we're going to ask Elder Warren if she will come with our Old Testament, New Testament, and our prayer of comfort. Praise the Lord, everybody. Because the Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. 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 Our Old Testament reading will come from the book of Joshua, chapter 1. I'm going to begin at verse 8, and I'm reading from the Amplified. Amen. Amen. Joshua 1, verse 8 reads, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall read and meditate on it day and night, yeah. so that you may be careful to do everything in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will be successful. And nine says, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified or dismayed or intimidated, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And our New Testament reading is going to come from the book of Matthew. Chapter 5 and verse 4. And what I like about this scripture, there's some words in red. And we all learn in Sunday school and in church, if it's in red, that's what Jesus said. Amen. So we'll be reading, reading again. Matthew, the fifth chapter, and verse Number four simply reads, Blessed, forgiven, refreshed by God's grace are those who mourn over their sins and repent, for they will be comforted. For they will be comforted. Remember, that's what Jesus said. Amen? Amen. Amen.
because we're going to celebrate his life. Amen. Amen. It's easy to celebrate when you know they need Jesus. Right. I'm going to say that again. It's easy to celebrate when you know they knew Jesus. And he was a watchman on the wall. He was an usher, y'all. Which meant he guarded the, the door of the house of God. Amen. Let us pray. Father, as always, I have to bless you. I have to bless you before I come before you and ask for anything. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy of all of the praise. And now, Father, as I stand here today, interceding on behalf of this family, Lord, they're not an unfamiliar family to you. God, they are believers, Lord. God, they work in your kingdom. God, they love on one another in spite of one another. Yes, they are. And they have come together today to celebrate the life of one of their loved ones. They truly understand that out of the body is present with the Lord. But it doesn't stop them from their own mourning. But you said, blessed are those that mourn. You promised in your word that you would send them a comforter. You understand what it means to lose a loved one. You understand what it means to lose a child. Yes, Lord. So, God, I'm asking to permeate their presence in this place with your Holy Spirit. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, where the Spirit of the Lord is, where the Spirit of the Lord is, is everything that they need. Wrap your loving arms around them. Hold them to your bosom, Lord. Whisper in their ear that you are still in charge. They understand and acknowledge you as being still their God. So help us today to lift up the name of Jesus. Help us today to celebrate the fact that you allowed us to be a part of Julia's life. Help us today, God, to promise, Lord, that we're not going to disappear in a couple of days to help the mother and the family through this time of transition. And God, we bless you. Why? Because you're faithful. Yes. You're faithful. Yes, Lord. You have proven time and time again that you are faithful. Lord, so God, we know not only are you able, yes, but we know that you're willing. Yes. And we thank you. Yes. We praise you, God, even though it wasn't our plan. Yes. We accept your plan. Yes. And we thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you is in your bosom because he accepted your son which is the requirement for belief and for eternal life so we thank you God we thank you God we thank you God and we bless your holy name as always Father I come humbly yet boldly before your throne of grace and I'm counting on you
by Donald Cynthia K. Hyacinth and following the acknowledgments, we will be able to give remarks and the family has asked if you will keep the remarks to two minutes, please. I just want to thank everyone for coming to celebrate my cousin's life. Um, we are small in numbers now. We used to be a big, big bunch, but a lot of us have gone on to glory. But one thing I can say about my cousin Junior that I can't say about any of my other cousins, myself included, is that he has helped every single family member that has ever needed help. Yeah. Junior won't perfect, but who else is? But he had a big heart and would help you. Now, he won't give out no money. He won't give out no money. But if it was something that you needed fixed or cleaned, you call Junior, and it was fixed and clean. And so that's something that I will always remember about him and something that I will take with me moving forward to be willing to help. Because that was something he was always willing to do, was help. Um, Please know that you are in my thoughts and prayers. Love, Diane. 